the viral video. I saw this. I got misty. I got all choked up. You know, Father's Day is coming up in about three days' time. Um, you posted a video. Um, I'll give you the floor right here. We're watching it right now. It's you and your dad. Go tell me what this, tell everyone what this video is right now that they're seeing, James. Yeah. Um, big go me pick my dad. DMC pickup truck. That's what he's been wanting for a while now. Um, I'm just happy I'm in a position that I, that I, you know, happy and blessed that I'm in a position where I can do that for him. And yeah, surprising when I got the idea from actually one of my old teammates at Pitt, Aaron Donald, he had bought his dad a truck and, and his reaction was priceless. And so I was like, let me do the same. And so, yeah, we recorded my dad giving uh, getting a truck and his reaction was priceless. And so now I'm just happy I can hold on to that. Um, he was just so shocked to try to give me the keys back and, you know, so it's just awesome not to do that. Well, you know, the thing that got me emotional is not only, you know, just seeing your father enjoying, you know, um, obviously something that he wants and he could ride around and, and, and it's a, you know, uh, that that's incredible in its own right. But I know your story, James, and that's what this book's all about. And I just, you know, I get emotional thinking about what your father must have been going through when you were going through your diagnosis with Hodgkin's lymphoma, wondering about your health and your future and your ability to stay alive, let alone have a career where this could be bought for him. That's what yeah. got me, James. Yeah, you know, it, it goes a lot deeper than just a, a gift, you know, so there's the, the backstory to it and what things could have been and how things turned out uh, is beautiful. So, yeah, it's definitely much more than me just getting him a truck. It's, you know, a lot of things we overcame. And now that, you know, the emotions from us being in that moment, you, know, you could tell how we were interacting and stuff. So uh, it was special. What's your dad's name, James? Glenn. Okay. Glenn Connor. So what was your family's role in, uh, in, in helping you through when you uh, called him up? You're in the middle of uh, um, a college career at, at Pittsburgh, and you call him up at age 20 and say, I, I have some news. Yes, that was that was the hardest part about the whole process, and even during the process of writing my book, um, re revisiting those days, you know, it was tough. That was the, the hardest thing about it. You know, I'm the youngest of, of, of four, of five. I got four older brothers, and um, you know, just calling them my whole life, they've always been the ones who would do anything for me, had my back through anything that I ever went through. You know, and, but with this, it's kind of really not much they can do. You know, so that was that was the hardest part about it all was breaking the news to, to all my family, my my, my teammates. Um, but the role, their role, they would just let me know, uh, keep going strong, keep my faith strong. It was just constant uh, encouragement from from my close circle and also people around the world. I've received so many messages from people um, who who've reached out and just sent their well wishes and prayers. I truly wouldn't have gotten through it with without the support of everyone. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.